and welcome back once again to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This is your host, BMJ406, and check it out. Now I got three stars on all the missions, I got two gold EGAD medals. It only took me like 20 minutes to get all the three stars I didn't have, so that was nice. So yep, just to prove it. Oh, I forgot, I could probably show you like how I did everything, or basically, you know, close to whatever. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Why not? But yeah, there's that. And, uh, well, ambush, here's the time, or similar time. I'm guessing under three minutes, because I did three and a half, and it was still two stars for that. So there you go. All right, the last thing to show off is a scare scraper. This nightmare scare scraper full of... Skyscraper full of ghostly challenges awaits you and your courageous friends. Can you power your way to the top? I'm just gonna, you know... I'm just gonna show off how each of the modes are, that's all. Not that big a deal. So, yeah. Let's go for it normally. Oh, you can change the settings again if you, uh... No. Yep, you can choose to have it set... Oh, God. It said my full name. Damn, damn it! Let's go to the full team. I'll be fine. I don't have anybody else with me, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show off all the modes. It's really just very time-consuming, really. Like... You do get a third medal if you capture all the main ghost types in this game. Capture all the ghosts to advance to the next floor. So here we go. The hunter floor. The way this mode works. I'm a green clad Luigi. You have multiple Luigi colors. That's in your rooms to go find ghosts. Which, ow. Yeah. None of these are based off of, like... None of the things you have are based off the main game. It's all just plain, so, you know. You gotta be good. Just know your way around. You should be fine. There are locked doors, portals to find your way through, treasures to find. Well, the main thing you want to do is just keep advancing so you can uh, find all the ghosts that are around. You have the dark light, poltergust, all that stuff. But, well, depending on the mood, you need to figure out how to get around and where to find all the ghosts. So, you know, hunt quickly. There's a key in here. Where's the key? So, investigate all the stuff. And who knows what you'll find. You need to find stuff that's invisible. Just make sure you keep going. Oh, man, this might take longer than I thought. If... Yes. It's probably best to- OW! It's probably best to do a mode like this in a, you know, on a low difficulty, unless you're either super confident, which I'm not, or multiplayer, which I'm not doing. So, you know, you got friends, go for it. I'm just trying to show it off just to show it off. Why do I think that was a good idea? I need to unlock a door. Oh, yeah, the ghost meter there shows you how many ghosts are on the floor, so, you know. Find the keys you need to unlock doors that are locked, so you can get to more rooms to find more ghosts. See, so you start off with playing ghosts. But it gets further up, I believe you get uh, more. And there are items you can get. For stuff like money and other things. Okay. In that case, let's go back to A. I'm sure I'll find more there. Also, what the heck? Oh yeah, there's an item, right. Just use the map of the lower screen, it should really help. Because that's the only way I'm starting to figure my way out around everything. Only one- oh, there are the other two. There's three more, actually. Yes! What'd you have before, cleared? Red coin scramble! Basically, they now scatter four red coins for you to find. Along with the rooms you've been in. You have 20 seconds to find them all. Well, if you can find them all, then I believe you get a bonus. Which I don't think I can find them all, but... Nope. Not fast enough. Basically, you can find all the red coins, and you can get bonuses for the next floor. Damn. Oh, well. They clear each floor, you just go up to the next. And while you get, you get temporary upgrades. 
It only counts for each scarecraper run you do. So, you know, be good. All right, a teammate follows you, press X to revive them. They have to lose all their health. Another thing to note. Again, I'm only doing it solo, so... Really, I'm just hoping that'll go well. That's all I can do. I can hope that goes well. Take that. A rat? Why get a shitty rat? Oh, man. Why do I get all the crap? Was that a pumpkin? Huh. I got these spooky pumpkin ones. Okay, there's something in here somewhere. Oh, shadow came from that. I see. I'll check you out a little bit. Okay, there's something in here, too. There they are. Ow. I got all... I got all five of them at once of that flash. Damn. No, look like they weigh your ghost you catch, too. Oh, God, there's a lot here. They got fat. Ah. How that? Is there any way for me to uncover what goes there around? Screw you. Now I pop over you. Who's left? Two of you? I'll take you both too. I think the ghost a random weight. I don't know why. But you know what? It's probably not a big deal for me to figure out why. A different weight, that's all that matters. Oh good. Go right away. How nice. As did you three. Oh yeah. There we go, that's all of them. See? Once you understand how to go around, it's actually not that bad. At least you can still keep moving real time when things start shuffling. Oh, come on. Okay, you can vacuum it. Alright, good to know. Don't have enough time again. Come on, man. That's unfair. They don't make it so I can get them. Damn it. I couldn't even get to the room. Oh, oh well. I tried. So yeah, this mode, especially higher difficulties and spreads, can be fun. I think it's basically just harder ghosts and, well, more stuff on higher difficulties. So, you know. I see this mode could take a while, too. So, you know, you want to make sure you're a committed group if you're going to do this. I keep forgetting how long this is. You get five minutes per floor, so... Make sure you take the proper time. Again, use the map for help. Because no, any room that's dark, well, that's how you can tell. Take that. I'm talking about getting any special ghosts to going, see? I wonder it's from having to do, like, certain things that, uh, you start getting, uh, what am I trying to say? You might get actual ghosts. Like, actual ones of the scare scraper ones. If you do more floors. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Yeah. <sighs> but yep, all the main five types... There are five main types that will show up on all these floors. You have the, uh, the greenies. Let's see. You have the greenies. Oh, dick. Okay, you have the greenies. You have the hiders. You have the bruisers, and, uh, I believe the sneakers, and the, uh, and the little goo guys, the, uh, yeah, whatever they're called. I did it. The ones that absorb you when you try to get them. Alright, let's see. Oh, there you guys are. But these don't scare me easily. Just be prepared for anything. 
Aha! I'm prepared! And well, yeah. These are a lot easier with people because, you know, you can all split up and do multiple searches together. Or work together to take out a bunch of ghosts that are just in one room. So, you know. It's good to be able to have friends to share territory with. Oh, good. That makes things easy. I might be able to get them all. If I can get them all, I think I get a temporary bonus. I want to show off all the rooms before I... Ugh. Hang on, hang on. Yes! The extra money to collect all the red coins, I believe I might get a little bonus for that. So, yep. There we go. All the red coins are mine. And, well, I think the world gets more red coins when I actually get up. Uh... Oh, yeah, see? These Poltergeist upgrades come uh, automatically. I got achievements, too. For achievements per floor. How much damage I took, how many times I got stunned. Yes, thankfully I didn't have that happen. You get the right coin. You can upgrade like that. Three times Poltergust. So now I can absorb things three times as quickly. Now I have the Poltergust upgrade, I have a bigger shock. So I can get more money if I shock them right. Power of Poltergust time two or three makes Captain Ghost a breeze. So yeah. Fun stuff, huh? The time's way over my head so everybody knows that I'm the ultimate, the one with ultimate power. Those ghosts will never know what hit them. Okay, there's something, there's a key hidden somewhere. I can only think of it in there. Unless there's one of the chandelier. Now. Oh! A gold mouse came out of that, that was interesting. Oh, they hit the key in the sink. That's normal. That's so normal. Oh, Everybody hides their keys in the sink. What am I thinking? Gobbers, too. I'm trying to think which one's the, uh... I'm trying to think how you get the unique ghost to show up. I can't fully remember, but... Either way, I would want to show all the ghosts, but at the same time, it would take me forever to do it. So, I really don't want to go through the trouble of being asked to locate every single ghost. Oh, yes. oh God, portal! Thanks for that. Can you take me back? I don't want to be asked to locate every single ghost, but you can get all the descriptions and all that. Congratulations. You get yourself a uh, third... Uh, EGAD metal. Huh. Where's the key? Right. Maybe hidden things to find. I don't really have shadows for. So you just have to guess, really. Inside a hidden drawer. You crafty bastard. Oh, man. They are not leaving much to my imagination. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Uh, two locked doors. That's a good place to start. But yeah, see, this game even has a multiplayer mode. It's actually, like, fun, too. Basically just doing this game with friends. Oh, yeah. I get them to remove objects from their possession. I forget that I could do that. Gee, that's something I never did during the main game. That would have been very helpful for me to remember. Move. You're mine. Damn. The abilities that you can have. I didn't even realize I had some of them. I could pry the objects from enemies' hands. What am I doing? We're on the fourth floor, so I think there is only one more floor after this. I did it. Let's have oh god! That was close. Oh no! I got pulled in! Yeah. There we go. That was fun for me. How about you guys? Now it's your turn. Get in there! For my monetary concerns. Damn. Only some of these drawers are portals. I wish all of them were. Man, that would be too convenient, wouldn't it? Oh, God. 
Yeah, see, it's definitely much easier with friends to be able to get all these red coins. Come on. I think you get better bonuses, you can manage to have more red coins for yourself, but... In order you get any bonuses at all, you need to be able to get all the coins. Yes! Okay, they just don't let you transfer rooms when you, uh... When the time runs out. You can still get red coins. Okay, that's neat. There we go, I got more money, and my red coins will go in to give me... Ooh! A useful item! I kind of wish it was in the main game. Those little glasses can actually help reveal hidden objects for me. And what well, last war of the boss goes, invisible illusions can't hide from dark light goggles. So yep, with dark light goggles, you can actually see invisible objects. And yep, the last floor, or like every like tenth or fifth floor or something, is a boss. So well, get yourself comfortable. Because well, we have a boss to find. It's a poltergeist! And well, we'll have strong ghosts guarding him. So no, get them out of your way if you want to deal with him. This is why you want to cooperate and work together. He has a lot of health, too, so... Yeah, good luck getting him on your own. And now he'll be bailed out for a while, so I can't actually get him. Unless I have to use Dark Light on him. No! You punched me! Yes, you punched me, you asshole! You pulled me away from you, prick! You dick. So, yep. This last boss ghost you'll run into, the end of the uh, Hunter Mode run, is referred to as the Brain. So, you know. Ah! Well, you can see invisible ghosts, too, so, you know. The Dark Light also helps you hunt down regular ghosts that are running around, so you don't have to deal with them freaking ruining you. Oh, yeah. Think I'm gonna let you get away that easily? Well, you could be right. Ow! Especially because your book's in the way. I guess he does that if he doesn't have other ghosts to help him. No! Oh, I dodged it at first. Oh, did I scare you? Good. I got you now. Come on. I'm gonna die. It won't be pretty. This won't be pretty! God, this is hard. I forgot how hard this could be. I rarely ever did this multiplayer mode, so I didn't even, like, you know, get to experiment with it. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, God, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Yes! And a capture, I guess, gets a lot of the reward there. Yay! I made it! Holy crap, that took way too long. And see, I only did a 5-4 game, it took me nearly 20 minutes. It's insane. And well, yep, you can have your best times as well. Just to really dedicate yourself records and all that for your own well-being you know show of your worth to somebody oh and so it does go to the vault as well so you know it's a good way to get quick money for the main game as well it's nice oh geez that took 20 minutes I can't believe that took so long but yeah I think it's the longest one that's probably why so yeah I guess I'm gonna do other bonus episodes for the other one for the other two modes just one other one. So yeah, you have those three modes. With the Hunter, where you just go through as quickly as possible, which you can do up to 25 floors. Oh, and by the way, something I should mention. There's a there's another floors mode you're going to unlock. Actually, I probably should do another one this episode because I forgot something. But yeah, you can go up to 25 floors regularly. Let's do Rush, which is basically trying to Get, find the exit as quickly as we can. Let's do that in this episode, too. Hey, good job. Help, help. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. And you have uh, D-pad commands to 
you know, call out to players and all that in case you need it. At least the medals are shown for your rank thing, too. Well, let's go over rush mode. Basically, find the exit as quickly as possible. Defeat goes you need to to find keys and all that. Time pieces can be collected from Capture Ghost 2 to extend your time. So, you know. This is probably a much faster one. I said find my way out. That's all I need to do. Now, give me my time so I can keep going. If I lose, it's all over. Time pieces can be collected from new ghosts, whether I'll find them or not. Oh, God. Oh, this boat's hard. Jeez. I lost already. Holy crap. So, this is rush mode. You gotta try to find your way out when you do not have a lot of time. That's probably definitely better with friends. But I want to try it again. Because, well, I want to try to show getting to the end of it if I can. So let's go for it. But yeah, let me explain something I was trying to explain earlier. You know how there's a 25 floors mode? You can do 25 floors if you so wish? Yeah, funny thing. If you, uh, beat 25 floors, you can get endless floors difficulty. Which you could guess. Yeah. The endless floors difficulty would basically allow you to, uh, you know... What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say here? That's 10 seconds. Ow. Jeez, how the hell can you do this by yourself? This is nuts. How the hell can you do this by yourself? Oh my god. This is insane. Maybe I won't try to do this, but... Basically, it's similar to Hunter Mode, except instead of trying to fight your way through, you're trying to escape and fight them off to get out. This is probably much easier than other people. But, yep. That's Rush Mode. Mode. If you get to the end, good for you. I don't think there's a boss at the end. I think there might just be one last escape. Actually, there might be. Damn it, I wish I could show it off, but I keep losing. So, no, I can't. Because that's really hard by yourself. Oh, my God. How the hell can you do that by yourself? That's nuts! But yeah, that's Rush Mode in a nutshell. You basically try to run to the end as quickly as you can. It's that simple, I guess. Hmm. What's a limited mode? I don't know. Hang on, let me look at the other one. What's download play mode? Play limited version with nearby friends who don't have... What's so limited about it? Is it, uh... Trying to think. I guess it would limit the kinds of ghosts you could find for doing limited. That would make sense. I don't want to do online play, though. I feel weird about that. Having other people involved with me without knowing anything about what I'm doing. Sounds weird to me. But anyway, oh, wait, I do have to beat Rush. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That's right. Okay. You know what? I'll try to do it on my own. I think I can pull it off if I try hard enough. Let's try one more. I need to try to get real good here. So let's try one more time. I forgot, I do need to reach the end of this at least once in order to get one last unlockable I forgot about. Which is an interesting one. I'll just put it this way. There's a reason that every floor they tell you what you're doing. I'll leave it at that. Ah, screw this. I don't want to fight them. Although I do want to figure out the map. Let me at least try to get a map item to show you how that works. Come on! So you get a map, you can find your way out. Which, well... That's how you get through a floor. You get to the end of the floor, you get money. Wow. Wow, if I had map, map item, it makes things really easy. Jeez. Oh, God. Why is the music, like, echoing? Oh, yeah. 
That doesn't sound right. Oh god, there's no ghosts! Yeah, it sounds like the music got messed up. How the hell did they screw that up? Oh well. I got the coins, so that should help. So, yep. Rush move be very fast if you understand what you're doing. And I finally started to understand. God, so you just gotta find the... Hopefully find the room. Oh, so it's like a bit of luck, too. That's annoying. Oh, you all get joint upgrades based on the team treasure. Now I see. And now this Boulder Ghost times three, I can absorb ghosts much more quickly if I have to. So let's hope I can rush out of here real fast. But yep, if you get all the way through 25 floors of this, you get an endless version. So running as fast as you can. Oh, wow, look at that. A map of the first room. That makes things really easy. Oh, come on. Get in, get in the Boulder Ghost. Just reel the map so I know where to go. Oh, does that take me to the one? I should have figured it wouldn't. Damn it. Oh, I could have made it. If only I knew to get to the other one. This is really hard. Oh my god. This is brutal. We just got to see how I got through one whole floor. But yep. Now I got to show you rush mode works. So you know what? I'll try to beat this on my own time. And then come back. I don't want to do a multiplayer. I want to prove my skill. At least you get money for the vault. Even if you fail, which is nice. Alright. So, yep. That's the beginning of the Scarescraper stuff. I'm probably not going to be able to show you all the exclusive ghosts. That probably requires going through a lot of floors. And, well... Rush is probably the hardest mode to do by yourself. I mean, without a doubt. Like, I just want to beat it because there's something else to show here but i'll do that next time so come back for next time the la very last episode of luigi's mansion dark moon we'll go over the poultry pup mode i'll beat in rush mode and show you the end of it if i can and uh yeah after that i guess we'll uh i'll show you the last unlockable that's not all the ghosts in the vault and call it a series like seriously collect finding all the special ghosts is the thing that gets you that last medal which uh Unless you're playing with a lot of people or doing a lot of floors, it's going to be hard to get them all. Because I feel like it's random when they show up past floor 5. So, yeah. That would be a bit of a bitch to do. But, either way, I'll show you the last of what Scarescraper has to offer. And then it's basically, from there, just, you know, play a lot, get a lot, and you'll be good.